Colombo Additional Magistrate Harshanika Kunawala on Friday, 16, of December 2022 imposed an overseas travel ban on former cricket commentator Brian Thomas over the murder of Colombo-based businessman Dinesh Shafter. It was reported that former cricket commentator Brian Thomas is in possession of two passports, and the overseas travel ban was imposed for both these passports by the court. The Borella police making submissions to the court requested for an order to be made on telecommunication service providers to provide a telecommunication analysis report on the mobile device used by the late Dinesh Shafter. Court granted permission to obtain the record from the service providers. Police investigation. Four police teams are investigating the murder of Dinesh Shafter. A Colombo-based businessman who was a managing director of a leading financial institution in the country, and a director of a leading insurance company in Sri Lanka. Shafter was found bound and choked inside his car on Thursday, 15, of December 2022 afternoon at the public cemetery in Borella. He was admitted to the Colombo National Hospital but succumbed to his injuries while being treated in the ICU what happened to Dinesh Shafter. Businessman Dinesh Shafter had left his residence on Thursday, 15, afternoon and had told his wife that he was heading to Borella. Sri Lanka police said that Dinesh Shafter had told his family that he was going to meet former cricket commentator Brian Thomas. Police said that Dinesh Shafter had left home at around 2 p.m. and that multiple calls made by his wife had gone unanswered. After using an app and tracing the phone to the public cemetery in Borella, the wife of the late Dinesh Shafter had called his workplace and informed of the matter. An executive grade employee was rushed to the public cemetery where he found an unconscious Dinesh Shafter bound and bruised inside the car. The employee together with a cemetery worker had then admitted Dinesh Shafter to the Colombo National Hospital. Businessman Dinesh Shafter was admitted to the ICU of the Colombo National Hospital, where he passed away. The Criminal Investigations Department, the Colombo Crimes Division, and two other police teams are currently investigating the homicide. Brian Thomas questioned by police. Sri Lanka police had also recorded a statement from former cricket commentator Brian Thomas. As Dinesh Shafter had told his wife that he was going to meet Thomas. Police spokesperson and attorney SSP Mihal Thaldua told News First that a complaint was filed with the police earlier stating that former cricket commentator had taken Rs. 1.4 billion from the businessman, and had not returned the money. Who is Dinesh Shafter? The late Dinesh Shafter was the son of former Sri Lanka cricketer and Sri Lanka cricket administrator Chandra Shafter. Dinesh Shafter was 51 years old at the time of his passing. Shafter graduated with a bachelor's degree in law, with proficient qualifications in finance as a member of the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, UK. He was also the holder of an executive master's degree in business administration, and was the managing director of a leading financial company in Sri Lanka and a leading insurance company in the country. Dinesh Shafter was a father of three. Shafter family statement. The Shafter family made a statement following the demise of Dinesh Shafter. It said that law enforcement authorities and family are trying to establish the facts surrounding his death and inquiries are ongoing. The family requests that the media and the public respect our feelings and privacy at this time and wait for the accurate facts to be established. The statement noted that Dinesh was the very best of them and the heart and soul of our family. It noted that he made untold contributions to business and sports, passionately challenged injustice, and supported countless worthy causes. The statement concluded that he will be remembered foremost for his unending devotion to his family and friends and generosity, 
even towards strangers.